Alright, so a hunter is on a frozen lake. I'm going to draw the hunter's rifle thing. Already at an angle. Little m will be the mass of the bullet, which is 4.20 grams, so 4.20 times 10 to the minus 3 kilograms. And the speed of the bullet, 965 meters per second. Big M will be the mass of the hunter plus rifle. That's 72.5 kilograms. And the first part of the problem, what's the recoil velocity of the hunter? So when he shoots the bullet, there's this interaction. I, I think of this as the anti uh, an elastic collision in that it's the reverse, it's the time reverse of an elastic collision. So an elastic collision is when two things collide and then they stick together and then do whatever. Maybe go this way or go this way or whatever. In this anti an elastic collision, two things start out stuck together, like the bullet and the rifle, and then they come apart. So the two pieces fly apart when they were once stuck together. So that's what I mean by an anti-inelastic collision. Uh, in these types of problems, uh, momentum is conserved. So. Uh, momentum in the beginning. There's zero momentum. The total momentum is the momentum of the bullet plus the momentum of the hunter. And that's zero. So I'll put this zero stands for state zero or before before the event. Actually, maybe that's a better... Uh, I'll put a B here to be before. And then this B on top is the bullet B. And that's the hunter. Momentum is conserved. Uh, by the way, in part A, theta is zero. So the hunter is just shooting horizontally. The total momentum after, that's what the A is for, equals the momentum of the bullet after plus the moment, momentum of the hunter after. That's still going to be zero. Well, afterwards, what is the momentum of the bullet? It's going to be little mass times the velocity. And the way I drew it, this way is the positive x direction, the positive horizontal direction. So I'm going to have a negative for the for the for the bullet's momentum. And I expect the hunter will recoil in this direction, the positive direction. So positive m v, where capital V 
is the recoil velocity I'm looking for. So since that's equal to zero, you just th throw this over to the other side. It becomes a positive MV divided by capital M. And then put in the numbers. Four point two times ten to the minus three times nine six five divided by seventy two point five zero point zero five five nine meters per second. So with with part B Sorry, so with part B theta is There it is. Sorry. 56 degrees. So for part B, make theta equal to 56 degrees. Now what's the recoil velocity? Well, the higher he raises the gun, the rifle, the less uh, horizontal momentum the bullet will have. Because right? say theta is close to 90 degrees. That's the direction of the bullet. So the component of a velocity in the x direction will just be this little sliver. And when theta goes to 90 degrees, the bullet gets shot straight upwards. And there's no x component of the bullet's momentum. And so the hunter will get pushed into the ice, but not across the ice. And the recoil velocity we're looking for is this, this horizontal, and the, the, the hunter isn't going to move in the vertical direction. So we expect the velocity, the recoil velocity, to be less than the velocity in part A. But it's basically the same problem um, before the total momentum is zero. After the total momentum, at least in the x direction, let's let's label this the x direction will be zero. That still consi consists of the bullet's momentum in the x direction this time, cosine theta there times m v, big V. So that's equal to m v naught cosine theta divided by big M. Nine six five times four point two times ten to the three negative three times fifty six cosine divided by seventy two point five. I get a recoil velocity of zero point zero three one three meters per second. So yeah, slower than when we had up here.